Uh, my name's Tommy Tellerico. I've been a video game composer for over 23 years and the creator of Video Games Live. So what, uh, what came into the conception of Video Games Live itself? So the reason I created Video Games Live is I wanted to prove to the world how culturally significant and artistic video games have become. And it's also a great way to help usher in a whole new generation of young people to appreciate the arts and the symphony. You work with a variety of artists. Um, is, are there any on the on the cast tonight that you want to highlight or maybe shout out? Well, I mean, tonight's show is going to be so unique in that we have over 15 special guest composers. Uh, everyone from Marty O'Donnell and Mike Salvatore, the composers of Halo and their upcoming Destiny. We got the Monkey Island Lucas Arts guys here. We got the, a lot of the Blizzard folks here. Um, so, so many different, because we're doing a lot of world premieres here tonight. We're doing the world premiere of Dota 2 with Valve. Uh, we're doing uh, the world premiere of Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. The world premiere of Destiny, which this is music that Marty O'Donnell and the Bungie team with Mike Salvatore wrote with Paul McCartney. And they're going to hear it. The world is going to hear it for the first time here tonight. So we're really excited. So there's a lot of different special guests. Uh, Austin Wintry, the composer, Grammy-nominated composer of, of Journey is here conducting as well. So lots of guest conductors, lots of guest musicians. So this is a kind of a special night one tonight. But that being said, we, you know, we play 40, 50 shows a year all over the world. So, um, you know, we always do something special in each show. That, but we're, we're, bringing out, we're bringing out the big guns tonight for this one because it's a special night. How long ago did you really uh, start touring with uh, Video Games Live and how long do you plan on continuing? Yeah, you know, uh, I created the show 11 years ago and uh, like I said, we've done hundreds of shows. We've played to millions of people all over the world. So within the last five or six months, we've played everywhere from Dubai to China to Singapore and Malaysia and, uh, you know, everywhere else. So, um, you know, we, I'm gonna, we ch I change the show every year. We're constantly adding new material. Tonight's a good example. We're adding five brand new pieces that we've never had. I've created over 120 segments for the show but we can only play about 18 of them a night. So um, always changing, always, I mean, we're working on like a Katamari Damacy thing. There's always new and great material, working on Earthbound, you know, things like, uh, uh, gosh, what other, some uh, Legend of Mana, Secret of Mana series. So there's always something that we're always working on and, and great new games that are always coming out. So I'm gonna do this for as long as people keep coming. Absolutely. There you go. Is there any particular genre of video game that you like composing for the most? Yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of games like Shadow of the Colossus and Beyond Good and Evil and Eco, you know, those kind of third person, you know, Metal Gear and uh, Red Dead Redemption. So th those are the kind of open world, great, you know, atmospheric games where you can really get fun, you know, with them, you know, like interactive with the music. That being said, some of my favorite games that I've written music for in the past have been like platform games. So, you know, games like... Uh, you know, Earthworm Jim and uh, Disney's Aladdin and Cool Spot going kind of way back. Um, and then, but yeah, so I, I'm, you know, it's, but the games I like to play the most and the more challenging to compose music for is kind of like the third person type of adventure games. Um, so in closing, is there anything that um, you want to highlight or shout out to the fans? Because you've had fans all over the world, and I'm sure that a lot of them are tuning in tonight with Twitch TV. Um, and this is the first time that this has been broadcasted live. So is there anything that you could set out to the fans to tell them? Yeah, no, I just, uh, you know, one of the things is if, if you want us to come to your country or your city or state, go on our website, videogameslive.com, and we have a, uh, we have a sign up for the, you know, mailing list sign up, and you put in your favorite game and where you're from. We also have a, a, a Facebook page, and if you go on there and request, we will come to your city if we get enough requests, you know, and, uh, and we also, we set up events pages for every single show we do, and that's how I come up with the set list. So I'll go into the Facebook event, like let's say we're playing in Peru, which we are, and September 27th, uh, and, and if, when, you, when you go on that page, and you know, if you wanna hear, so I'll collect all the data. So we let the audience, video games are interactive and our show is interactive. So we want the you know the audience to decide what the set list is. So come and join us on Facebook and uh, or the you know our website or Twitter. We're all we're all over the place.